As the city prepares to honor those who lost their lives, others are still cleaning up from the storm. And tonight, a warning about a concerning trend that tends to follow these big weather events. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred, in for Kelly Jackson. The Illinois Attorney General is joining the Better Business Bureau to warn about scammers looking to take advantage of people with storm damage. Five on your side's Holden Kerwicki joins us live in Edwardsville with how you can protect yourself. This happens every time, Holden. That's exactly right, Ann, and it's easy to take a look at the debris behind me, and if you're a homeowner, you probably want that gone immediately. But according to the Better Business Bureau, as soon as these big storms pass, there's always someone looking to take advantage of you. As Ronna Blattner surveys the damage at her family farm, she can't help but get overwhelmed with emotion. You go into a state of shock at first. There's debris scattered seemingly everywhere you look. It's just a huge job. With another line of storms in the forecast, she knows the old carport needs to come down. It's probably a little bit on the dangerous side. I think it's stable. I'd like to get that off the house. They're talking about 50 mile an hour winds this afternoon. I'm not looking forward to that. She says at least two dozen contractors have stopped by offering estimates, which Sarah Wetzel with the Better Business Bureau says can be a sign of a scam. We have these fly by night contractors that come to your door. So it's really tempting to just take advantage of the person that's right in front of you to do the work. But what we see a lot is that consumers put down deposits and then in the end they get little to no work done. And I'm of the age that I'm becoming more and more vulnerable toward that, you know? I mean, because they are really clever in some of their pitches. Wetzel says scammers often want to work without a contract and ask for payments up front, but there's an easy way to protect yourself. You definitely want to contact your insurance company first to see first what they'll cover, what they're not going to cover, and then they may have some stipulations about the contractor that you use. Wetzel says it's also important to use a credit card, since you can dispute fraudulent charges that often go along with scammers posing as disaster charities. Take the power into your hands. Make sure that you know where your hard-earned dollars are going. Make sure that you know that they're going to a reputable, reputable charity or that they're going to someone, to a family in need. And if, like I said, if, if possible, give to that family directly. Maybe the most important thing that you can do to protect yourself from a scam is always do your research. The Better Business Bureau has actually done a lot of research and vetted a number of companies and charities all across their areas, and they even keep a list of active scams in our area on their website. Reporting live in Edwardsville, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. A wind advisory.